Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for um, September 23rd, 2020. Um, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, guys. And these readings are time stamped. You can find the time stamps in the description box below and in the comment section below. Let's go ahead and get started. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for um, September 23rd, 2020. Uh, so guys, for those of you who are new, I do have a Cancerian only channel. Uh, it is called Cancer Baby Tarot. If you would like to join the Cancer Baby family, link is below, okay? Spirit, what messages do we have for my Cancers, please? September 23rd. So we have engagement ring, engagement, partnership, commitment, eternity, completion, and union. Ooh. So someone's getting serious here, Cancer. Look at this. Someone is watching. Someone here, I feel like, can't stop looking at your pictures. Someone here just loves the way you look, Cancer. Someone expresses love, a message of love, thinking of you, and letting you know. Okay. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Cancers, please? We've got healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Okay. And then we have give your relationship a chance and work on your partnership. So I feel here, guys, that you guys maybe have some inner child work that needs to uh, get healed. Um, maybe you guys have just given up on relationships in general because um, you just realized that maybe there's just too much shadow work that needed to be done. Or maybe you guys just realized that you'll never or maybe not realize that maybe you guys assumed that, you know, you would never find somebody due to... Um, childhood issues like no one would really understand but i feel like somebody is some, someone is very um uh i feel like you have this in common with this person maybe similar childhood issues or the similar type of pain and oh good lord okay so we had a lot pop out but the loving woman wanted to pop out let's just see um so yeah, I feel like you're going to decide to give this a chance because there's so much in common here. This person really wants to give you the love that you deserve, Cancer. Okay? They want to give you the love that you deserve. Holy Spirit, angel spirits and guides, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Cancers, please? September 23rd, 2020, please, Spirit. September 23rd, 2020 for Cancer. We have the Four of Swords. And the six of pentacles. So you see, I feel like you guys um, heal each other. There's this energy of equal give and take with healing. We have the tower here, Aries, Scorpionic energy. And we've got the knight of pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy. I feel like you guys started dating and it just, I feel like you, you became committed to this person very quickly. Uh, feelings, um... Feelings like you wanted to take things slow, maybe in the dating realm, but this just is moving forward quicker than anticipated. Yeah, the chariot, Cancerian energy, and we've got the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. So there's a sense of two people that are hurt, two people that are guarded, two people that are in pain, two people that need healing, but at the same time, you find that healing in each other. And I'm not surprised to see the Four of Wands under the deck, the 1111 card, uh, equal divinely guided counterpart, twin flame possibly. But this is an energy of two people that are almost literally identical in what needs to be healed in... Um, you just share the same pain. You guys und understand each other in a way that like you have never found in anyone else. And it's very healing and it's very beautiful. So as much as there's this energy of we should take it slow, you can't help it. It's just going, you know, you're just falling deeper and deeper in love with this person. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my cancers? All 12 signs, please. If we're dealing with another cancer, if we're dealing with another cancer, someone here is going to be hurt because somebody is playing games or non-committal. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone here has commitment issues. If like, you know what I'm saying? They're, they have a fear of commitment. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like someone here does not want to take a risk, does not want to take a leap of faith. Someone here just wants to be free, non-committal. If we're dealing with a Virgo, um, 
if we're dealing with a Virgo, I feel like someone here is expecting an apology or someone here is pissed off that they need to come back and apologize for some reason, okay? Um, like, damn, I have to, if I want this person back, I have to come in and apologize. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, there is a lot of love, a lot of stability, 10 of pentacles, probably even leading to marriage. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I see somebody maybe shopping for a ring or planning for a beautiful new future, um, but they're not telling you. Someone here is, there's a surprise coming. There's a surprise gift coming. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, if we're dealing with an Aquarius, someone here is juggling two people or they're not making a decision and it's going to cause a lot of problems and blockages. If we're dealing with if we're dealing with a Gemini, um, I feel like someone here is missing you. The shoe is on the other foot. The tables have turned. So if this person has been pushing you way away for a long time, now now that you like stopped caring, let's just say now they're wondering where you are. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, if we're dealing with a Libra, this person is only in it for sex. So be careful. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, if we're dealing with a Leo, someone here may be finding out that they're having a child or there may be a, a proposal or messages of deeper level of commitment. Okay. If we're dealing with uh, an Aries, I feel like somebody is going to get rejected for an X. We have an X that's coming back in. If we're dealing with a Sagittarius, um, I feel like someone here has hope that they can heal a situation. Okay. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please? Karmic relationship, fleetings, triggers, turmoil, resentments, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Well, Scorpio, these are never fun. Okay, yeah, I feel like we have heart, heartbreak here, um, self-indulgence. Someone here is trying to break free from a, a, a situation, and it hurts, and it hurts. Um, there's a person in this connection that may be very selfish, very self-serving. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And past life relationship, you have known each other before. So Scorpio, what we have going on here is you have a lot of hope and optimism for this connection, okay? Um, I feel like, you know, you, there's a lot of hope here that this is the one, that this is real love, but it's deceptive. This there, this person, there's not equal give and take um, when it comes down to how this person feels about you, okay? And I feel that what happens here is you think that it's going to lead to a higher level of commitment, and when it doesn't, there's an argument that breaks out and you guys fight and separate okay um so this is a past life karmic soulmate spirit what clarity and guidance what messages do we have here for my scorpios playing it safe yes spirit is advising you to protect yourself here don't trust everything this person says because um they're gonna let you down spirit what clarity and guidance love messages here for my scorpios please September 23rd, 2020. So we have the Nine of Cups <coughs> and the Six of Pentacles. Yeah, see, someone here wants wish fulfillment, okay? Um, but I feel like the connection is not equal give and take. One person is out for just themselves. Uh, you know, one person is more uh, um, selfish. We have the Seven of Cups here. And the nine of pentacles, Virgo energy. So you see, it's an illusion. Somebody here wants to be single. They're not really ready to commit. They don't want any of that. Four of wands here. And the ten of pentacles. So the outcome here is you're expecting stability and commitment here, but it's an illusion. This person wants to be single. You know what I'm saying? Spirit is telling you um, to use your intuition here with the high priestess and the three of cups. I feel like high priestess, three of cups, three of pentacles, somebody here may even be in a third party situation. So the situation is not what you think it is, uh, Scorpio. So just be careful, okay? 
Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Scorpios, please? All 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, there's going to be major blockages here. Um, and I feel like a truth may come out. Something may happen here. But a lot of a lot of drama, I definitely don't see this going very far. If we're dealing with another Scorpio, such as yourself, I feel like someone here is coming off as committed, but it's going excruciatingly slow because this person is keeping secrets. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, I feel like either this person is going to stop being non-committal or causing problems and that cycle is going to end and this is going to move towards deeper level of commitment or we have a marriage that's failing or a connection that's failing. If we're dealing with a Virgo, if we're dealing with a Virgo, somebody here, there's love but somebody is also getting tired. Maybe somebody here has two people and they're just getting really tired of juggling two people. If we're dealing with an, a Capricorn, um, there's distance in this connection because someone here is really guarded and untrusting. If we're dealing with a Taurus, if we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like somebody is um, wanting to invest in a connection. Someone here is wanting to lay down a solid foundation. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, there is definitely heartbreak here, emotional disconnection. Someone here may be in a third party. If we're dealing with a Gemini, if we're dealing with a Gemini, um, somebody here is leaving because of ego, because of pride, or because they want to one-up somebody and just win. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, be careful because, well, if we're dealing with a Libra, two things. Either this person is daydreaming about marriage and commitment, or um, this is an illusion. This is somebody that is either committed and keeps a lot of options, or they may not be telling you that they're committed elsewhere. Take it as it resonates. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, this is somebody that is wanting to be single they don't want commitment and they are juggling other people also if we are dealing with an aries um I feel like there is a strong soulmate connection here, but um, I don't feel that it's equal give and take. I don't feel like, I feel like one person is more in love than the other. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, if we're dealing with a Sag, I feel like this person is only romancing you and flirting and laying it on thick just to get you into bed, okay? So just be careful with that. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for September 23rd 2020 spirit what messages do we have here for my pisces talking interested conversing more awaited message arrives text call email and hovering okay Ooh, we got someone here that uh someone new is coming in so uh we may be getting axed out on a date here pisces spirit what clarity guidance love messages for my pisces calling in your soulmate your prayers affirmations and visualizations help bring you together so maybe you've manifested a soulmate and they're here. Reconciliation, someone from your past is returning into your life. So guys, this could, I don't know, because we've got someone new here. So I'm kind of getting a past life soulmate that's coming in. Because we have someone new talking, interested, conversing more. So it could be an ex coming back into the picture. But I got to be honest, I feel more a, a, a past life soulmate. Soulmate, past life. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. I just feel like this is, you may meet someone that you click with immediately because your souls recognize each other. We've got a consciousness of lack. You're going to start to feel, guys, that when you're not around this person, you miss them terribly. Yeah, I feel like this is someone that's going to treat you right. I feel like this is someone that, you know, you're going to make it to the finish line with because you have a very deep... Um, connection with this person spirit tell me about my pisces please for september 23rd love messages for my pisces please september 23rd so we have the two of wands and the queen of swords aquarius gemini libra energy we have the ace of swords and the world six of pentacles and the seven of swords. Okay. For some of you, this could be an ex that misses you and wants to come back. You have walked away from this person. I feel that you want to keep your distance because you don't trust this person. Ace of swords and the world card. They're starting to realize here that it's over. The outcome, seven of swords and the six of pentacles. Someone here knows that it's imbalanced because... Um, uh, someone here is cheating. Okay. But I feel that once we get over this person that's coming in from the past, we do have someone new coming in. You're calling in a soulmate and I do feel like it is a past life soulmate. So it's kind of both things mixed together there. 
Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Pisces, please? All 12 signs for my Pisces, please, Spirit. If we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, I feel like someone is starting to realize that this is really over, that someone has moved on. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like someone here, like there's just too much drama, too many things have piled up. This has been going on for too long. And with the 10 of wands, someone is getting tired of investing in this. If we're dealing with a Pisces such as yourself, I feel like you guys could intuitively feel the soul tie between you and this person. If we're dealing with a, Virgo if we're dealing with a Virgo this person may um they want to move very quick in this connection or this person has a very sharp tongue when they speak to you they they may say very hurtful things if we're dealing with a Capricorn this person is falling in love they feel you they feel a strong soul tie with you if we're dealing with a Taurus this person is very committed very loving I do see this going to the finish line to marriage possibly if we're dealing with an Aquarius I feel like um there's going to be a conversation that this is just over or someone's going to say that it's just over if we're dealing with a Gemini a truth is going to come out and the connection is going to fall if we're dealing with a libra uh if we're dealing with a libra someone's not trusting that the other person is truly going to commit or that they want to get married or have a family if we're dealing with a leo um if we're dealing with a leo this person is still manifesting a future like their ship still hasn't come in so they don't necessarily see you as the one okay um if we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like this person loves you, but then again, they still, they withdraw once in a while to make sure that this is, to analyze the situation to see if this is what they really want. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, somebody here has a lot of regret and remorse, but they're not coming forward and speaking. They're, they're holding back. I love you guys. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. Spirit, what messages do we have here today for my Virgos? So we have Cupid's arrow. Have faith. Love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. Okay. And we've got kisses, unconditionally loving, giving and receiving affection, falling in love. And then we have seduction, attraction, flirting, dating, hooking up, temptation, and third party interference. So just be careful that this doesn't turn into a third party situation or that you're not getting involved in a third party situation, Virgo. So we have reconciliation, someone from your past is returning to your life. And we have chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction here. So Virgo, um, yeah, this could be an ex that's wanting to come back into the picture. Spirit, what clarity and guidance? Love messages for my Virgos, please. September 23rd, please. Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Virgos, please. September 23rd. So we've got the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces energy, and we have the Knight of Wands, Leo, Sag, Aries energy. We have Temperance, Sagittarian energy, and we've got the Three of Cups. We have the Five of Cups and the Five of Swords. So someone is coming pa in here passionately with an apology, guys. They're coming passionately with an apology. I don't feel like this person here is going to make a move towards reconciling, though. This person is going to say, listen, I forgive you, but I'm not sure about reconciling. This person is going to take their sweet time. They're not out in to jump into anything. The outcome here is someone is really going to regret sabotaging a connection, like big time. Yeah, six of wands uh, and the eight of wands. I feel like someone here is going to come back saying, I really want this back. Someone here really wants to win this connection back, but someone has healed. I, I don't really, um, or this could be a third party situation. We said third party interference. Someone here may have already moved on to new love, Virgo. It may be too late to come in and ask for an apology or ask to um, bring this back together. Someone here may be in a whole nother relationship. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Virgos? So if we're dealing with a cancer, um, 
if we're dealing with a cancer, someone here is starting to realize that they've lost a ton of cups, that they lost this person's love, and they're really starting to feel the loss of that person's love and attention. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, this person may come off as very sweet, kind, caring, and loving, but um, in the end, they may be in it just for sex, okay? If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, I feel like there's communication here about manifesting a future together. Together, like promises about bringing things together. If we're dealing with a Virgo such as yourself, um, I feel like someone here passionately wants a new beginning, but I feel like this may be more passion-based than love-based. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, um, I feel like this is overdue to unequal give and take. And if we're dealing with a Taurus, um, again, be careful because I feel like this person is only investing in this connection for sex. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, I feel like there is um, an X in the picture that we may be committing to again. Okay. Um, yeah, there, there's a, you may be getting back together with an ex here or someone from your past. If we're dealing with a Gemini, um, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like, uh, there is two people in this picture and it's causing a lot of, je uh, a lot of jealousy, a lot of drama. If we're dealing with a Libra, there's a lot of love here. Um, 10 of pentacles. There's a lot of love. This can make it to the finish line. Okay. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, this is over. Someone here is cheating, lying, and being deceptive. If we're dealing with an Aries, um, if we're dealing with an Aries, this is going to move very quickly. Someone here really wants to build something solid with you. And if we're dealing with a Sag, um, someone here is facing karma. Someone here is facing karma and it's going to hit hard and it's going to hit heavy. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have for my Capricorns? Ascending, transcending obstacles, learning, expansion, new phase, and preparing for union. So what I feel here is that we're ascending spiritually. Ooh. We're ascending spiritually and preparing for a, a new phase for a healthier connection because I, I feel here we've got the snake, competition, enemy, clever, malicious, look over your shoulder, um, the other woman, and addiction here, uh, codependent, obsession, um, possession, controlling. So I feel like you're ascending here, Capricorn, wanting something healthier in your life. Spirit, what clarity and guidance do we have here? So we've got healing family issues and we have unrequited love there's not enough attraction or chemistry to keep this connection going yeah i feel like capricorn you're coming to this place where you're healing you're coming to realize that this is not healthy love um and i feel like you want to free yourself and work on having a healthier uh connection where you get the love that you deserve spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my capricorns please clarity guidance and love messages for my capricorns please september 23rd please so we have the hermit virgo energy we have the five of cups the three of swords the nine of wands The Ace of Cups. And the world. Okay. Yeah. So Capricorn, what's happening here is we have somebody who is heartbroken and just hurt. Someone here is leaving. They're gone. Maybe even moving towards a third party. This person here regrets regrets um uh leaving a situation they regret being distant they regret they regret everything that they did in this relationship because they hurt this person and this person is done we've got a cycle closing and someone here is moving on to new love okay someone is moving on to something new um oh we forgot to pull this spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my capricorns we've got behind a mask yeah someone here may be smiling every day but underneath it this person is like no i'm done with this you know what i'm saying so um someone here may is not showing their true feelings but i feel like it's going to come out and someone's going to say how they feel and say that they're done 
Spirit, what clarity and guidance? Love messages for my Capricorns, please. All 12 signs. So if, if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like someone here is very proud of this connection. They brag about it. It's a very beautiful and successful connection. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, it's ending because someone here is non-committal. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, yeah, King of Cups and the Six of Swords. This wanted to pop out in the reverse. I feel like someone here is falling out of love and um, moving on. Okay, someone here is moving on. If we're dealing with a Virgo, if we're dealing with the Virgo, um, I feel like there is a lot of love here and this may lead to marriage, a beautiful Ten of Pentacles connection. If we're dealing with a, Cor a Scorpio such as yourself, excuse me, if we're dealing with a Capricorn such as yourself, um, I feel like someone here is missing you. They're missing your love. This could be a soulmate. Someone here is definitely missing this connection. If we're dealing with a Taurus, be careful. This person is only in it for sex. They are not committal. They want to be single. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, if we're dealing with an Aquarius, someone here may be realizing that they've hit the jackpot in love. <laughs> Excuse me. Oh my gosh, that was a sneeze. The truth. If we're dealing with a Gemini, um, if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like the connection is moving very slow when it comes down to commitment because the feelings just aren't there. If we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like someone here. Oh, I got to sneeze again. If we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like someone here is um, wanting to cut the situation off and they're having a lot of anxiety because maybe they're trying to figure out how to do it or make a plan on how to do it if we're dealing with a leo there's going to be communication here that someone wants to take a break if we're dealing with an aries somebody here may be proposing marriage or wanting to start a deeper level of commitment in this connection and if we're dealing with a sag someone here may be a little manipulative they don't feel the same way okay i love you bye Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Taurus, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. So we have here not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person boundaries, and still angry. So Taurus, um, I feel like somebody here is stalking you, Taurus. Someone here is stalking. They're in love with you. Um, I feel like this person wants to talk to you and you're just not interested. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Taurus, please? Codependency. Addictions are affecting your romantic life. Someone here is obsessed. I mean, literally obsessed. Separation, time apart from your partner is on the horizon. You do not want this person in your life, Taurus. You want to stay separated. I don't know. Um, yeah, this person, this person is going to come off like you're the one, true love, but you know this is deception. This, this is deception. They're not, um, this ex is very deceptive, very manipulative, very obsessed. Uh, I feel like maybe you have made the effort with this person multiple times in the past and um, you know their true personality and you're just not really willing to give this any more chances, okay? Spirit, what clarity and guidance, love messages here? for my Taurus, please. So we've got present power. Yeah, I feel like um, you have a choice maybe between the new and the old Taurus, and I feel like you're letting someone go here. Uh, someone here is obsessed. I don't know. Probably the old, I'm assuming. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, love messages here for my Taurus, please. Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Taurus, please, Spirit. So we have the King of Swords, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy, and the Five of Cups, okay? We have the Three of Cups, and we've got the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn, Taurus, Virgo energy, oh. We have the Ten of Swords. And the Queen of Wands, Leo Sagittarius energy. So Taurus, let me tell you what's happening here. I feel like someone is about to flip out with Temperance and Five of Swords. Like someone here has been patient. 
they've been patient, they've been patient, and now someone's about to blow their shit. Like someone's about to, is getting pissed. And I'm going to tell you why. Because we've got someone here that is full of regret. They really want to make this work. And I guess their plan is to, you know, try to come back, try to try to get this back together again. But with that King of Swords energy, I feel like they're coming back for all the wrong reasons. Like there isn't really love here. They're, they're, this person has a scheme or something going on as to why they want to come back. And I feel like you know this. Now over here with the Queen of pentacles and the three of cups the problem here is taurus is that you are in a relationship you are in a relationship and speaking to this person or this person coming towards you is causing a third party situation and you're ending this you're ending it right now because you do not want uh you do not want to lose your new person is what i'm feeling you see we have two people here you need to make a decision and cut one off because you may end up losing the person that you want to be with all right so you have to you're in the process here of, of saying listen this is done this is over i'm not going to sit here and hurt the person that I'm with for this. I don't, I don't want to be in a third party. I don't want you and that's it, you know. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Taurus, all 12 signs. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like um, someone here is not literally expressing how much they put the other person on a pedestal. They find the other person beautiful and they want to build a life with this person. They're planning a future with this person. They may not be expressing it all the time, but they feel it. Um, if we're dealing with a Scorpio, beautiful connection, 10 of cups, 10 of pentacles beautiful if we're dealing with a uh, a Pisces if we're dealing with a Pisces uh, someone here does not want to accept an offer of marriage or commitment if we're dealing with a Virgo um, if we're dealing with a Virgo uh, this is moving too fast and it's giving somebody anxiety it, it's just make, keeping someone up at night if we're dealing with a Capricorn I feel like someone here does not want to forgive a situation if we're dealing with a Taurus such as yourself um, someone here is starting to realize that they really really miss you okay um, if we're dealing with an Aquarius this person wants to cause strife and imbalance in your life if we're dealing with a Gemini I feel like someone is coming in with regret, um, you know, with a conversation of, I wish I didn't do that, you know, can we get back together, an apology. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, someone here is tired of putting work into this connection. If we're dealing with a Leo, um, there's going to be a conversation here that somebody here wants to build a solid foundation or work on this. If we're dealing with an Aries, we've got an apology coming in from an ex. Someone from the past is returning here. If we're dealing with a Sag, um, someone here just can't drop the grudge that somebody lied or cheated okay i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for aquarius sun moon rising and venus signs for september 23rd 2000 ooh, 2020 so we have kisses that popped out unconditionally loving giving and receiving affection falling in love so aquarius we are falling in love which is always beautiful Spirit, what messages do we have here from my Aquarians? We've got religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. And we have soulmate yes this is your soulmate so i feel like this is a divinely guided love connection aquarius how beautiful is that let's see here spirit what messages do we have here for my aquarius please ascended masters yeah this is definitely definitely divinely guided that's your your uh archangels there okay um that's your highest guides that are divine that are uh guiding this Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aquarians, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Aquarius, please. We have seven of wands. And the Ten of Cups. So this is a connection I'm feeling that can overcome anything. We have the Six of Swords. And we've got the nine of swords. Yeah, I feel like someone here is moving away from the toxicity in their life, from the drama. And I feel like we're moving towards a connection that has what it takes to really overcome. We have the moon, Cancer, Piscean energy. And we have the seven of pentacles. Um, so I feel like your intuition is guiding you here, guys, on where you should go and what you should invest in. I feel like you're going to walk away here. You're moving towards a ten of pentacles. You're moving forward. Even 
though you don't know that just yet like when you walk away Aquarius um, I feel that there's a sense of I have no idea what's going to happen but I'm just going to follow my intuition and I'm going to go and your intuition is actually your highest guides guiding this um, and it's going to lead you to a beautiful ten of cups and ten of pentacles situation Spirit, what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for uh my aquarians please yeah someone here may be distraught that you're leaving but you got to do what you got to do if we're dealing with a cancer if we're dealing with a cancer i feel like um someone here has given up on this sabotage the connection moving on i don't feel that that's uh going to move forward if we're dealing with a scorpio i feel like someone is just in this uh for the sex or for the money okay if we're dealing with a pisces um someone here may be getting pregnant or getting married or this is just a beautiful connection that's going to make it to the finish line to marriage uh if we're we're dealing with a Virgo um, if we're dealing with a Virgo I feel that someone here is juggling two people but they're falling in love with one if we're dealing with a Capricorn um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn a truth or something is going to come in and change the situation and there's going to create distance if we're dealing with a Taurus I feel like someone here regrets cheating or being non-committal if we're dealing with an Aquarius such as yourself um, I feel like someone's really happy and wants to take this to uh, deeper levels, deeper levels of commitment. If we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like there's an X that's coming in to cause trouble. If we're dealing with a Libra, if we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like somebody wants to apologize, but the other person cannot drop the grudge. If we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like someone here has a secret that they need to speak about and it's giving them anxiety because they're holding back the secret. If we're dealing with an Aries, someone is moving Moving forward moving on so that they can heal if we're dealing with a sag someone here is rejecting an offer and blocking i love you guys bye hello my loves welcome to your daily love reading for gemini sun moon rising and venus signs for september 23rd 2020 holy spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have for my gemini's so we have self-indulgence, focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. So Gemini, I feel like you're focusing on your own healing, doing what's best for you. Um, I feel like you are making a choice here to choose someone that's more stable, a healthier choice. Um, this could be a, a, a newer connection that's turning from, you know, I like you to I love you. Uh, definitely uh, better choices are being made here. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love message messages for my Gemini's you deserve love you are lovable and it's safe for you to love open your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all so Gemini I feel like you are leaving behind the people that don't give you that love that you feel that you deserve and you're moving towards people where you feel safe and uh, that you can trust you know behind a mask and deserving you're leaving the people with negative intentions behind and you're moving towards love that you feel that you deserve Spirit, clarity, guidance for my Geminis, please. Love messages, clarity, and guidance for my Geminis, please. So we have the five of pentacles that just popped out. Not surprised. And the nine of cups. Yeah, you're leaving people out in the cold to move towards what's best for you, to move towards your wish fulfillment. Um, here we have the three of pentacles. And we have the full Aries energy. So someone here is willing to take that leap of faith with you. Someone here is really willing to uh, put the work in to build a solid foundation. We have the six of wands, victory, success, pride, and the ace of wands. Yeah, you are super proud and happy with this new connection that you are in. Yeah, you're, you're very happy, proud, maybe even bragging about it. Yeah, you're really happy here, Gemini. That's good. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Geminis, please? Clarity, guidance, jump for my Geminis, all 12 signs. If we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, someone here is tired of putting in the work. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, a third party is going to be found out. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like this is a divinely guided soul connection. It will be moving forward. If we're dealing with a Virgo, um, something here 
here has ended. Either someone cheated and got someone pregnant or there's a parent that's getting involved and ending this connection. Um, or it could be that somebody here just wants to leave and start a new beginning elsewhere, okay? Um, if we're dealing with a Capricorn, somebody here is juggling and keeping it a secret. If we're dealing with a Taurus, um, somebody here maybe is making a decision to block somebody or somebody here is wanting a second chance but are, is being blocked. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, this person has a sex addiction. They're lying. They're player energy here. If we're dealing with a Gemini such as yourself, this is going to be a beautiful, victorious connection. Ten of Pentacles could lead to marriage. If we're dealing with a Gemini, someone here is stalling commitment. If we're dealing with a Leo, somebody here is manifesting to sabotage this connection so they could walk away. If we're dealing with an Aries, this person may be very romantic and sweet, but ultimately they're non-committal. And if we're dealing with a Sag, this person may show a lot of love, care, and kindness, but ultimately they want to be single and non-committal middle. I will see you guys later. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Libras? We have girl talk, time with friends, moving on, happily single, living in the moment, and having fun. So Libra, um, you know, seems like you're single here, moving on, you're healing, uh, manifesting, Okay, you're healing and manifesting. Let's see what we have here. Spirit, what messages do we have for my Libras, please? So past life relationship, you have known each other before. And honeymoon. Yeah, you're leaving the past behind, Libra. You're leaving the past behind, letting go of, of, of trying to control the situation or trying to make somebody do right by you. This is just an energy of letting go, letting God, releasing, and moving forward. Um, victim mentality. I feel like this person has hurt you a lot, but you're getting out of that mindset. And um, you're just kind of in this energy of what's meant for me is meant for me and moving on. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Libras, please? September 23rd, 2020. So we have the two of pentacles that popped out and the ten of pentacles. Yeah, someone here, um, you know, you could have been married and they were juggling you with someone else. Or maybe you just spent a lot of time with this person um, where, you know, you didn't know if they were committing or not. Or you could have been with somebody who was just using you for money. Uh, we have the moon here, Cancer Piscean Energy. And we've got the Ace of Wands. Yeah, this person was uh, uh, having a lot of sexual encounters or talking to a lot of people behind your back. We've got the Queen of Wands, Leo Sag, Aries Energy, and we've got the Page of Wands. Yeah, I, I feel like the outcome here is, is that you got a message from the third party and um, yeah, and you ended up just... Uh, I, I feel like the secret came in and cut this off. You know what I'm saying? Um, somebody here revealed a secret. There was a fight that broke out, drama, strife, jealousy. Um, you cut this off. This could have been an actual marriage that ended for some of you. All right, let's see here. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages do we have here for my Libras, please? Clarity, guidance, and love messages for my Libras, please. So if we're dealing with a cancer, we've got the page of pentacles and the five of wands. Someone's apologizing for a fight or for putting someone in competition. If we're dealing with a um, Scorpio, someone here is offering to work on a connection or apologizing and wanting to work on a connection. If we're dealing with a Pisces, someone here is regretting a decision or feeling guilty about something, but they're not showing it or they're keeping it a secret, like whatever, like they did something. You don't know that they did something, but they're feeling guilty about it. If we're dealing with the Virgo, this person is withdrawn because there's a third party. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, I feel like there's going to be a lot of open and honest communication today. If we're dealing with a Taurus, I feel like someone feels like they have met the one. If we're dealing with an Aquarius, um, this person is all about the sex and looks a little shallow. If we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like someone has it stuck in their head that they're being juggled or that something isn't right. If we're dealing with a Libra such as yourself, I feel like there's 
going to be communication about moving in together or getting married or a future together. If we're dealing with a Leo, somebody here is lying, cheating, or being deceptive, and uh, I feel like you're going to block them. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel like I feel like someone here has the sense of I'm in control of the situation, but you like it. It makes you feel safe and at peace. If we're dealing with a, um, a, a Sagittarius, someone here likes to party too much or they're in a third party and um, this is coming apart. You guys are moving on. I love you. Bye. Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd. Spirit, what messages do we have here for my Leos, please? Separation, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning, and unsure of future. So Leo, either you're missing somebody or somebody is missing you. Um, I feel like someone here is actually obsessed with you, um, but they're not showing it. Maybe someone's not coming forward and showing it. Spirit, what clarity and guidance love messages for my leos we have you deserve love you are lovable and we have codependency addiction addictions are affecting your romantic life so um somebody here you left because this person wasn't yeah you left the past behind because this person was playing games too much i feel like you love this person they were not loving you back um i feel like maybe this person could have possibly had a drug addiction a gambling addiction um some type of addiction that they didn't tell you about possibly that could be uh the case too spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my leos please clarity guidance love messages for my leos please oh my goodness um, September 23rd, please, Spirit. So we have the Five of Cups and the Sun. A truth has come out about this person, and they are mourning the connection, regretting. We've got the Nine of Swords here, and we have the Two of Pentacles. Someone here is tired of feeling like they don't know what's going on. Is there another person? What is happening? Like someone is just, you know, you just got tired here, Leo, of not knowing what was happening. We have the Two of Cups here. And we've got the full Aries energy. Um, this could have been a soulmate connection, but ultimately we've got one person here that was all in, in a relationship doing the work. And we've got another person here that was just being noncommittal, um, just not acting responsible, just doing whatever they wanted to do. And it was too much of an imbalance. Nine of pentacles. I feel like four of pentacles. I feel like you pulled back here, Leo, because um, you know your worth. You know your worth. You're good all on your own. You don't need this type of drama in your life. So it's done. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, love messages for my Leos, please. All 12 signs, please. So if we're dealing with a Cancer, if we're dealing with a Cancer, I feel like... Um, you guys are committed. Maybe you're having a child or maybe you're married to this person, but there isn't much emotion there right now. If Or maybe someone is just in the connection for money and not love. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, I feel like you guys are talking and flirting, but this person is not interested in commitment. They want to be single. If we're dealing with a Pisces, I feel like somebody here may find out a truth that happened in the past. Uh, if we're dealing with a Virgo, someone here is truly sorry and regretting something and they're hoping that you guys can heal it if we're dealing with a capricorn i feel like somebody here is uh cutting the other person off and out they're rejecting an offer if we're dealing with a taurus i feel that someone here is definitely in a third party situation if we're dealing with a um aquarius i feel like somebody here is stuck in their head about something that something's not right so they're going to start to pull away and block if we're dealing with a gemini this is moving forward very quickly the connection is a uh, strong um, if we're do if we're dealing with a Libra, I feel like somebody is feeling lack in the connection. There's not an equal give and take, and someone is constantly yearning for love or some type of uh, reciprocation here. If we're dealing with a Leo, uh, if we're dealing with a Leo, this is ending due to pride, ego, or possibly a third party. If we're dealing with an Aries, I feel that somebody here. Um, I just got hit with like a one night stand and now they need to heal like someone just was in it for sex and then dipped and someone's a little hurt about that if we're dealing with a sag i feel like someone here is very selfish they're ending a connection for their own wish fulfillment i love you guys bye 
Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. Spirit, what messages do we have for Aries, please? The Chaser. Chaser and codependent relationship. Fear of abandonment issues. So Aries, either you're chasing someone or someone is chasing you. So we've got the snake. Competition, enemy, clever, malicious. Look over your shoulder and the other woman. So Aries, you may have someone like a third party situation here chasing. I don't know. Let's see. Spirit will clarity, guidance, love messages from my Aries, please. Attraction. You attract, attract romantic love by enjoying the moment fully. And then we have let your friends help you ask for support from others. So I feel like Aries, maybe you met someone here. Okay. You met once someone here. Or maybe someone here. could It could have been a third party situation where someone cheated. You know what I'm saying? Like had a one night stand. Uh, bottom line is here. Someone was not looking for love. Okay. They just wanted to be maybe friends with benefits. And now someone has taken this too far far and they're chasing wanting like a relationship where this person has become like obsessed with this connection um we've got fear yeah someone here is afraid that you are letting them go someone's afraid that you're letting them go aries um but i feel like the agreement was you know a friends with benefit thing that it wasn't supposed to be anything serious spirit what clarity and guidance what love messages do we have here for my aries we have the five of wands. Yeah, see, there's jealousy, fighting, uh, strife here with the fool card. Um, somebody here is wanting, I'm feeling commitment when it was supposed to just be a free thing. It wasn't supposed to be with the Knight of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Energy, and the Page of Swords. I feel like someone here is is saying like, oh, you just, you know, uh, said this and this to get me into bed. But I feel like that was the agreement anyway. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like someone, like, oh, what did you say? What did you mean when you said this? And that or whatever the case may be like someone may have said something sweet and somebody took it on a whole nother level we have the six of wands here and then we have the two of cups yeah someone here is fighting and wanting to win somebody here wants a relationship and they want commitment here um I don't know if they're going to get it. It doesn't look like they're going to get it, but someone here is fighting for it. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Aries, please? Clarity, guidance, love messages for my Aries. All 12 signs, please. So if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, someone here is unsure of the connection and pulling back. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, someone here is a player and non-committal, so it's ending. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, someone here is going to sa sabotage the connection because they don't want to commit. If we're dealing with a Virgo, this is ending due to lack of feeling and emotion. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, someone here is going to be caught in a lie. A truth is going to come out. This person may have addictions they may be lying whatever the case may be if we're dealing with a Taurus I feel like someone here does not want to forgive a, a, a situation if we're dealing with an Aquarius I do feel like this is going to lead to commitment there's a lot of love here a lot of sweet talking if we're dealing with a um if we're dealing with a Gemini, I feel like somebody here is the shoe is on the other foot type of thing. Something is, is has switched. Roles have reversed. If we're dealing with a Libra, um, I feel like somebody is is watching you, um, but it's only for sex. Like some someone here is sexually like obsessed, kind of. If we're dealing with a Leo, I feel like <coughs> I feel like someone here is withdrawing because they have a lot of options or they're confused and they want to gain clarity. If we're dealing with an Aries, such as your someone here is still stuck on their ex and if we're dealing with an a Sagittarius um somebody here does not want to reconcile or someone here is blocking a third party or blocking out a connection to go to a third party I love you guys bye Hello, my loves. Welcome to your daily love reading for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs for September 23rd, 2020. So we have the Golden Mirror, self-absorbed narcissist, one-sided relationship, and love bombing. So guys, we may be dealing with someone who is uh, has narcissistic tendencies here. Spirit, what clarity, guidance, and love messages for my... Sag. So we've got let your friends help you ask for and accept support from others. And then we've got flirt, extend your lighted heart, your lighthearted energy from others. So guys, be careful here because you may go out with friends or you may ask your friends to hook you up. People that you trust, okay? Um, and you may end up running into someone who has narcissistic tendencies and you may not even realize it because you trust them off the bat because you met them through friends. Spirit, what clarity and guidance, what love messages do we have here for my Sag? 
So we have the Nine of Wands and we have the Six of Swords. Yes, yeah, Spirit is saying to walk away from this because you are going to get hurt. We have the Five of Swords. This is someone that likes to sabotage connections, also very nasty with their mouth, and, and they'll leave you hanging. This is someone who likes to like cause severe fights and then walk away. You don't know when they're coming back. Um, very emotionally abusive type of situation. The outcome here is the Ace of Wands and the page of wands yeah this person is only talking to you to get you into bed okay um yeah they're only talking to you to get you into bed so just be careful with this okay spirit will clarity and guidance love messages do we have here for my sagittarius please spirit clarity guidance and love messages for my sagittarius please spirit all 12 signs please if we're dealing with a cancer, if we're dealing with a cancer, um, I feel like the connection is very stable. It's leading to a marriage, very loyal, very committed. If we're dealing with a Scorpio, someone here may find out that... Um, Someone here may find out that someone is being non-committal or that they're getting attention from other people. If we're dealing with a Pisces, um, somebody here may cut off the connection because uh, they're having too much anxiety. Maybe there's too much drama in the connection. If we're dealing with a Virgo, someone here feels bad or guilty um, because maybe they said that they cared for somebody when they didn't or maybe they're flirting with somebody that they shouldn't be. If we're dealing with a Capricorn, this person is going to sabotage the connection. They are toxic. If we're dealing with a Taurus, someone here is tired of dealing with everything on their own um, for instance if you're a husband or a wife or a mom or a dad someone's just tired of handling and multitasking everything on their own if we're dealing with an Aquarius this is over there's been too many mistakes made in the past if we're dealing with a Gemini um, someone here is missing the other person and wishing and hoping that the connection can come out of this bad place and move to more peaceful waters if we're dealing with a Libra I feel like a fight might break out some nasty things may be said um, and this may fall if we're dealing with a Leo I feel like somebody here is it falling in love but they're not showing it they're keeping it to themselves if we're dealing with an Aries um Someone here can't get over the other person and they're coming back to apologize and maybe start over. If we're dealing with a Sag such as yourself, um, I feel like there will be forgiveness and patience here. I do feel that this is a divinely guided soul tie. Okay? I love you guys. Bye.